Mr Beast, one of the most famous YouTubers, has Crohn's disease. If you have a similar autoimmune disease or just love watching Mr Beast on YouTube, find out how confident he can still be with his illness and why you should watch his channel. Still manner. As you probably expect on YouTube, you're more than likely to come across one of Mr Beast's videos at some point. And because I'm a fellow sufferer of Crohn's disease, I was quite surprised to see one of these videos pop up on my homepage. So I thought I'd take a further look into Crohn's disease and how Mr Beast deals with it. When you search for something like Mr Beast Crohn's disease, it comes up with some information here that he's actually uh, given out himself about his illness. His real name is Jimmy Donaldson. Most people would know him as Mr Beast on YouTube. If you click into his Twitter account, you'll see that there are several tweets. He explains that he has Crohn's disease and takes Remicade to keep him in remission. And as you scroll down these tweets, you'll see how sympathetic his followers are. The public really love this guy. And later on in this video, you'll see how influential he can actually be to someone with an autoimmune disease. If you come into another one of his tweets, you'll see how amazed that some of his 5 million followers are actually surprised that he's got this illness at such a young age. And then if we come back out and head to Wikipedia, this is a trusted source that gives you the history and all other information on Mr Beast. I'd recommend taking a read of this at some point and also watch one of his videos. You might be amazed how he can bring his dreams into reality to donate hefty sums of money without even thinking about earning money for himself. And I think this is such a great accomplishment when you have an illness like Crohn's disease to go for so many long periods of time and pressure when you know how debilitating this illness can actually be is quite truly remarkable. When you then search on YouTube for something like Mr Beast Crohn's I hope you'll actually find one of my videos at some point. But I'll leave you here with one that I found from Mr Beast himself which gives a bit of a background and breakdown to how he is with Crohn's disease. I thought of talking about Crohn's disease because it's something I have, obviously, or wouldn't be talking about it. I've done a video on it before, but that was a really long time ago, and I've doubled my subscriber count since then, so, you know, why not do another one? And another thing is, you know, Crohn's isn't the worst thing ever. I mean, there are people who have way worse diseases, you know, you could have cancer and have to go through radiation and all that annoying things. There are worse things than Crohn's out there, which is why sometimes I'm a little bit hesitant to talk about it or complain about it, because other people deal with way worse. If you don't know what Crohn's is, it's pretty much my small or large intestines. One of them has something wrong with them, and they the bacteria is messed up in it, just there's sores on it, Something something's wrong with my small or large intestines and whenever I eat certain foods it agitates it and if it gets agitated then I have like enormous stomach pain that's really unbearable and then I go to the bathroom a lot now there are a lot of little problems Crohn's causes you like fatigue and you're just like really low on energy a lot of times but the biggest thing obviously is the diet you have to eat certain foods every single week of every single year it gets really repetitive but you have to eat those certain foods so your stomach doesn't get all messed up and you're not in constant pain 24 7 and it's a really small strict diet or at least mine is it's different for everyone and that makes it a little bit difficult to socialize and stuff like that or not really difficult to socialize just you know a lot of the things you do with your friends and whenever you hang out it's you know usually revolves around food which is where it's hard for me because sometimes i end up bringing my own pb and j when we're eating at fast food or things like that just because I don't want to be in stomach pain or I've already eaten something kind of, you know, that I shouldn't have eaten and I can't afford to eat anything else. And so, I, it, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much it just sucks all the fun out of food. I mean, eating food is a huge part of your life. You spend so much time doing it. You're always trying new foods. It tastes good. But with Crohn's, you know, you don't really like the food you eat all the time. And it's just like... You, you can't always try new stuff. You like pretty much eat the same thing. It gets kind of repetitive and you really have to like sit down and mentally process. How's this going to affect me? Do I want to feel bad tomorrow? Can I afford to eat this? Can It just takes all the fun out of food. That's pretty much the diet in a nutshell. Another thing that comes with Crohn's is the medicine you have to take. I'm on Remicade if you have any idea what that is. I highly doubt you do. And pretty much every five weeks I go to the hospital, they jab me with a needle, and I sit there for four hours and it pumps medicine into my bloodstream. And no, that's not a steroid. Everyone's always like, oh, so you're on steroids. No, it's not a steroid, I swear. That's like, I don't understand why everyone always thinks that. And without going into too much details and, you know, making this video super long for no reason, that's Crohn's in a nutshell. A super strict diet along with medicine 
And the way the medicine works, like, the week after I get it, I feel pretty good. Like, I feel like a normal person, but as time goes on, it slowly wears off and I start to feel worse and worse. And, like, the last week of the medicine is when, you know, I don't really feel that good. And I have to be really strict on my diet because anything pretty much will agitate me and, you know, cause me pain and stuff like that. So it kind of sucks only feeling good a couple weeks out of every month, but... You know, you gotta live with it. There's nothing I can do about it. And I guess I should also mention this. I'm not gonna die early because of it. I'll live just as long as I would if I didn't have it. Thought I might as well throw that in there, but that's pretty much Crohn's in a nutshell in case any of you were wondering. So I really hope you can feel more confident now from watching someone who is in the public eye like Mr. Beast to understand that with confidence, determination, and sometimes some medication can keep you in remission. I really hope you can find your answer to get you through life with a little less suffering and know that each day can get better. I think we have such a great community awareness and I think we can all achieve just that one little thing that we want to be better with. Shout and holler your story in the comments section below. For more of our videos about greater times to live with a stoma bag, choose one of our featured playlists or subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell to receive our latest videos. Still